Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. It's finally time to put pansies in the ground. Um, I'm here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B on a small urban lot. If you haven't been following the channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got an old playlist um, of everything that's been done in this landscape in the last uh, 18, 19 months or so. It's come a long, long way. And again, today I'm converting what was a summer annual bed into fall, winter, and early spring, which will be pansies, uh, perhaps some snapdragons, um, some bulbs will eventually go in here. It's a little early for that uh, yet. The way I determined, and when I said it's finally time to plant pansies, the way I determined that is actually with a basic soil thermometer. There's actually a website too that you can look up your, uh, that you can look up your current soil temperature. In your area, you want the temperature, the soil temperature lower than 65 on pansies. If you put them in way too early, and I see a lot of people putting them out on the shelves here, and it, you know, so in my area, that it's typically gonna be after October 15th before the 65 degree thing happens. I, they're out on the tables now in late August, early September, and if you put them in that early, typically they will stretch on you. On the other flip side of that, if you wait too late, like after Thanksgiving in my area, the soil temperature actually falls too low, and then it kind of stunts them for the winter. So there is kind of a sweet spot in here where the soil temperature is between about 45 and 65, where you put them in the ground and they just, the soil temperature is warm enough for them to grow some roots and get themselves established where they can really take off in the spring, but not so hot outside that they're, you know, the plants are trying to uh, put on a lot of growth and stretch out and end up thin in the bottom. So that's enough of that. That's why it's now time uh, to plant pansies. This is a dedicated annual bed. And what I mean by dedicated annual bed is I have, um, you can see the shovel go in the ground here. Um, this is about six inches of bark, it's pine bark soil conditioner and compost. The bark is still here, it hasn't broken down a whole lot, so I'm just going to add a little bit of compost to it today to refresh it. But the, um, the, the, dedicated, the difference between a dedicated annual bed and this, these spots right next to me where I have shrubs is, over here I just put down a little compost and planted directly in it, covered it in hardwood mulch. In my annual beds, I'm buying something, I'm investing in something that I'm only going to get like six months out of. And in that six months, I want them to do, put on as much as they can, put as much color and, and just really, really perform. So that's why I've got the soil so broken up and I'm going extra steps in the soil prep uh, in this area. So what you're going to see this morning is I'm, I've got a few buckets of compost left over from some compost I bought in the spring, actually. And I'm uh, going to add that to it. I'm going to take my shovel here. going to just incorporate that into the space. Then I'm going to lay the pansies out uh, across the bed. And I'm going to leave some holes to come back in here and plant some bulbs uh, later on. So you can see I've broken this up so many times that I just dumped that compost on top. And I can just take my shovel and actually do this. So, and just mix that compost in just a bit. And I'll just smooth it back out with the, uh, the back of the garden rake works the best for this. Just the flat, flat part of it. Last year in this pansy planting, I did a stripe of tulips down the middle and I didn't really, I, I wasn't drawn to it all that much. So what you're seeing with these containers, upside down containers are what will be clusters of tulips. I, um, they're in the process of being cold treated. I'm in zone 7B and we need to cold treat our tulips. So they're in, in a refrigerator um, and they'll be planted later. I need to get these pansies in sooner than later. So I've just basically marked the places using these pots where I will not plant pansies so that I can put the tulips into those spaces. Um, I've got a uh, pale yellow, um, actually, you know, almost, it almost fades to white. So it's a, uh, and then a, a light blue and a white pansy mix. They're gonna be mixed in here. I already talked about, you know, my frustration um, with pansies being put on the table way, way too early here uh, in my area. And honestly, by the time it is time to plant them, we don't get the best selection anymore. Some of these have clearly been in these uh, four packs and six packs. And, and as a result, you can actually see what I'm talking about, about this stretching and yellowing uh, down at the bottom that occurs when they're in too much heat. So is what it is. Um, I'll get them in the ground and uh, I'm putting them in. They have a perfect base here. It's now cool enough. They'll be, they'll be fine, but initially they won't look as good as they would have looked if they were prepared to be sold uh, right now. So anyway, I'm going to get these laid out and then I've got a, a, a trowel that'll make very, very quick work. This is actually so loose I could just do it by hand. 
I could just drop a plug on the on the ground and, and do it by hand. But you know, the trowel, I'll, I'll take the trowel like this and pull the soil toward myself and drop the uh, uh, drop the pansy plant in there. Push the soil back. You'll see. Super fast and easy. So again, I take the trowel, I go in like that, and boom, that's it. You can just do this super, super fast. What we don't want is straight lines, if we can avoid straight lines. So I'm trying to kind of triangulate them uh, as I go. But if I end up with a straight line here or there, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I am trying to avoid it. I want this pretty random. Ultimately, the plants are probably six or eight inches. Uh, apart ultimately. I'll probably have to go back and add a few more. Um, there'll be some spots I didn't put enough pieces out here. But you see how this technique works pretty well if the bed prep is done like I, like you saw me do it. Not a giant fan of bending over like this, but there's just no, I mean, if I did any other way, it would, you know, add, add time to it. So in a dedicated uh, annual bed like this, where I've gone through the process of mixing this pine bark in and compost in, this is a quick and easy job. The other annuals that were here just came right out uh, and uh, these things went in. I've got a maple over here in the neighbor's uh, yard that's actually stressed and losing, losing leaves over there already. That thing, and I've talked about this a bunch of times on these maples, that thing runs roots over here every single uh, time in between um, digging these annuals out. It's incredible how far that tree's actually rooted over here into this, uh, into this landscape. But one thing on the pansies here is that typically you'll, talk, uh, you'll hear me talk about the reason I use organic fertilizers. And I use organic fertilizers because they feed the soil and then we let the soil feed the plant. That's a perfect, perfect solution to fertilizing uh, where we don't stress the plants by forcing tons of growth on them. The one problem with pansies is these are going to be out here in January and February and the, all the soil microbes for the most part are, are asleep and the organic fertilizers don't work as well. So you'll see most of the pansy fertilizers will be um, synthetic fertilizers. I'll link one down below if you want to uh, get a pansy fertilizer. I'm not going to fertilize mine because of the amount of bed prep and the compost and everything that I've done to this space. I just won't need it uh, until late winter, sometime around mid-February when I fertilize everything out here and the soil's actually warming back up, I'll go through my regular fertilizer uh, routine. But between now and then, I'm just not going to push them. I think they have the soil's broken up. I've, I've done everything I can to make a perfect base for them. Again, the pots are going to be uh, groupings of tulips. So where this pot is, I'll, I'll come in here and dig out some of this uh, soil, put maybe 10, 12 bulbs in each spot, um, different colors. You guys will see that when that takes place. So that's it. It's pansy planting time, uh, finally, if you can find them.